And we are live on another Sunday night of poetry and tarot. Hi, Heather. Hi, Jeff. <laughs> How have you been? I've been doing well. I've That's been cool. writing and I've been doing the psych psychoterapathy bit, trying to finesse the um, rougher edges of it and going into it, doing readings for some people privately and a couple were done on my last live um, from Friday night. So check that out. Very cool. Tweaking, just doing the, you know. Tweaking in a good way. <laughs> yes. He's tweaking in a good way. Not my cat, you know, when he starts to tweak. That's not in such a good way, but I digress. I don't have to watch how I talk about even the word cat. It's like, you know, they got those those spidey senses, those kitty senses. Um <laughs> Yeah, this has been wild. I just can't believe how fast the weekend went. Um, you know, the, the the weather has inspired some poetry this week with the uh, the warms and the cold, back and forth, up and down. And um, while I am thinking of it, um, hello, you're finally live. Yeah, we're live. We're live. We well, I, well according to mine, I think we might have been. 30 seconds like getting started but yes we are here and um i just want to give a a, a shout out to ramon um moon scarab in chat who um might be joining us a little bit later we also may have another special guest i'm waiting to see if um she shows up i'll keep that a secret because it'll be a surprise because it'll be a first time on my channel so um I'll be keeping an eye out. Hello, Dina. She's lurking. That's all good, my dear. Hope you are doing well. And um, something that I thought was absolutely cool, Jeff, I don't know if you saw it, but um, Ramon um, went ahead and posted a video. He did haiku for each of the major arcana. That was badass. Badass and relaxing, too just I did listen see it. to it and just mm -hmm. it was almost like a meditation it, yeah know? it was that's what i noted on his page yeah yep so the major arcana the fool's journey um and so what i would love to do is either do that as well but lately i've been like really eyeing one of my lenormand decks i think i might want to tackle some uh haiku off the lenormand so yes, I'm i could be game for that with you yeah, the Lenormand. Yeah. And um, for people who watch on playback later on, um, once I know what my schedule is going to be like for April, because life is up in the air right now until I know in the next couple of weeks, um, Ramon is going to be joining Jeff and I again for a show on haiku and writing haiku. So definitely going to be having my, my Lenny's out for that. So, um, but yeah. Just thinking, looking at my notes. Um, anything going on, Jeff, with your channel that you want to um, want to share before we? Uh, I've done this week, uh, and I don't want to hoist this on anyone. Uh, a lot of politics happened this past week, and I oh. generally um, will read as currently as I can, given that it's so fluid, but. I wanted to approach things from different angles with different questions about things within the same video. So that's why I crammed a lot into the one that I just filmed that's up with readings. Um, but also I am going to do about, there are taped about six political reads that are going to come probably middle of the week, which is what I told uh, someone else earlier when I was on a show today. Um, but other than that, I don't know. I do know a potential collaboration, but I don't want to say okay. anything yet because I've cursed it by by it's not happening by mentioning. Yep. Sometimes it. we keep that energy in yeah. until we're ready. <laughs> you know. Yep. But I'm really wanting to do this, so. Well, all that it's not how it's when and happen. if. Yeah. Universe Jeff is just looking for that little nudge, mm -hmm. that little nudge, get a little push. Um, so that's awesome. Um, 
I kind of sort of have something similar for my tarot investigations with Jackie. Um, I invited a person who I really didn't think would, you know, to join us because they do a lot of, um, you know, politics. But I learned something recently about this gentleman and um, with his connection with his abilities with helping law enforcement. Um, and so he's on vacation right now with his partner. And so I'm hoping that within the next couple of weeks, I'll be able to officially announce who will be, you know, joining me. And then we course, I don't see her quite yet in the chat, but Karen had a wonderful compliment from um, one of her idols for, for tarot. So that's amazing. Um, and I had already said, hey, but I'll put you up again. Hello, Kaylee, my dear. It's good to see you. Kaylee does writing as well. She's got a channel. So um, she has actually a, a woo-woo channel of her own, woo-woo wonderment. So make sure you go check that out. Um, she joins Jeff and I um, and fills in too. Like one weekend when poor Jeff and, and Karen couldn't make it, Kaylee was like, I'm up for the challenge. Go right ahead. So um just a wonderful bunch of chatters and fellow readers and poets. Hello, Viviani. I saw you, my dear. It's good to see you. I have Viviani on my channel. She's an amazing reader. Let's help support Viviani and get her channel up. She does Akashic readings and Oracle readings and animal communication. So got to love the animal communication. Um, and there's Fatima. Hello, Fatima. Thank you for being here, my dear. And oops. And Kaylee says, hope to do my first live end of April for your birthday. Yes. That's why, Kaylee, I know your birthday's coming up. And I just don't want to promise you being able to host you, sweetheart. I hate to make a promise and then have something come up where, you know, oh, my God, I got to move within those couple of days, you know. Um, but if all works well and I know what's what, we'll definitely have a, a nice little celebration one way or the other for you. I promise that. Um, you've been such a support and such a sweetheart to me. So thank you. Um, all good. All righty. So why don't we start off, um, Jeff, with uh, some of your poems that you would like yeah. to share for the night. I have, I think, one, two, three, and a couple haikus. So um, that way that by that time people come in and they can start thinking about maybe a prompt for us or we can pull some cards. So um, I'm just going to give it over to uh, Jeff. I'll get you in the the reader's, we'll call it the reader's seat, the reader's chair. Hey, give me a minute. Everyone. The podium. <laughs> the podium. Yeah. Then it would the be really podium. scary, right? The poet's podium. All right. This is called Learn to Do without you, why you had to be the sacrificial lamb just so I'd have to learn to do without you. It's not inevitable that we'll meet again. So the lesson gleaned is all that is unseen is what's the sleight of hand. I have to leave here to see you if you're never coming back again. I have to learn to do without you if I'm just going to give in to the same impulses that they snidely say made you give up on a life when your cancer just suddenly turned black. If the temptation here is supposed to do us in, why if it is on earth as it is in heaven to give in here is to sin, but to Ooh. err, may but for the grace of God and for the sacrifice of his son, get us back to some semblance of self-acceptance before all this uncertainty could have begun. Then we should be none the wiser and not need, want, or lack, or restrict ourselves out of a fear of righteous attack. In heaven, you'll never be forgotten, but on earth, you'll never be canonized. Yet down here, we have to live by a set of tenants that don't guarantee or necessarily delay our demise. There's supposed to be wisdom in uncertainty, yet to be humbled by society and its lies is to truly know what's central, that there's no meaning in this life. 
Wow. Now, I've noticed that there was um, a healthy dose of um, Christian Catholic imagery Mm -hmm. and words Mm -hmm. in there. Now, um, and this is just this is just me asking. This Mm -hmm. is because you know I know everybody knows that I'm open to everybody's spirituality. Is that does that does that um, spirituality still play a strong point in your life, or are you just finding that because of the the guilt and a lot of the shame and a lot of the the, the dogma the, the, that go into into it's more about a rage against the dogma and not yeah. understanding why things take the certain track that they take. Mm-hmm. Thank you, Moon Scarab. Um, why they take mm-hmm. the tack the, the track they take when based based on those things I said, everything seems to be flipped upside you know what i mean it's not that way i don't think life operates by the um tenets of catholicism personally that's just you know i don't want it to take away or diminish anyone's faith but that's Mm -hmm. my belief it's relatable yeah um it reminds me of that song by um hosier take me to church Mm -hmm. that was an amazing Lyric, I mean, there are not many songwriters because you listen to what's on the um, right now on the billboards and stuff, and it's just crap. People don't really know what songwriting is or creating it's, a song or, or lyrical. Yeah. And so, um, you know, indie artists like them, even though, you know, the, he's kind of, I don't hear much from him or like Jack Johnson and a lot of them, um, or Avi Kaplan. Um, People don't may not know who Avi Kaplan is, solo name, but he's with Pentatonix. And his solo music is very different from Pentatonix. And it's just so deep and it's so it's spiritual, it's real, it's earthy, you know. Um mm-hmm. I I would I don't know if you know who I'm talking about her and his music, but Avi Kaplan, A V I Kaplan, K A P L A N what an amazing voice and even you know a songwriter i associate um, those pentatonics albums with christmas for some reason I, I yeah because they're very popular for christmas but Are this okay. music is totally different it you know it's just very solemn very deep very spiritual just and when i say spiritual i don't mean like preachy so it's it's all um all like because of his voice being so deep and so rich. It's just to me, for Shan and I, when we listen to him, he kind of takes us to a different place. And that's to me when music and songwriters, oh look everybody, we have a special guest tonight. And drum roll, please, who is that special guest? <laughs> it's Karen. Hi. Sorry, Good taking man. care of little. <laughs> Hi. Hello, my dear. Welcome. Hi, it's good to be here. She's like, I didn't know you were going to put me on the big seat. But I was like, hey, everybody, here. So a few weeks ago, Karen, here, let me just so you're not like, Heather. Um, <laughs> a few weeks ago, Karen and Jeff were um, going to be my guests for the poetry. And Kevin, I mean, yeah, Kevin, um, Jeff got, got it, came down ill, couldn't make it, and then Karen had life, life happened. And so it's yes. like, I was so hoping that, you know, you'd be able to join us tonight so we can actually have our show. And I'm so happy that you guys are Yay. here. <laughs> Yay. That's what I just told Heather. I was like, look, I'll just, uh, we'll just plan like I pop in the chat because I would hate for something else to happen. There's something oh, about Sunday nights, I think. <laughs> yeah. And even and Ramon's like, Karen. Hi, Ramon. <laughs> Hi. It was so funny today because I was watching um, YouTube videos with police arresting Karens. 
<laughs> they're even calling. And I said, I feel bad for people with the name of Karen. And now I have a friend named Karen. And they're telling my that my TV Karen. I'm like, you oh, know, there Karen, was that. I love you. <laughs> there is that comedian Dane Cook. Even before that, like he talked about a Karen. You know, he's like, really? you know, that friend. It's weird that Why? Karen. <laughs> Karen, you know? Oh my goodness! But our Karen here is of of the the utmost. You know, she's a teddy bear. She yeah, she's a, a Karen. Karen. Bear. She's, a <laughs> bear. she's like she's like Rainbow Bear. Huh? Well, I always say Rainbow Bear because that was my favorite bear. You know that I had. I loved and all of them, but probably now would probably be like what bedtime bear. Bedtime bear. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like your little your your nighttime like little give soup, me a nap bear. Yes. Um. <laughs> So everyone is saying hello. Fatima is saying hello. Hi. Kaylee is saying Hi, hello. Kaylee. Um, I was telling, I don't know if it was live when I was saying this or if this was backstage, but I was telling Jeff um, that it's just um, wonderful how we have a nice little community of not just readers, but artists as well and, and writers. And there, because there's All just kinds. so much more to tarot than just doing, you know, daily car pulls or things. And not that I'm saying those are bad, but when you when you can go deeper and you can be able to connect and do readings and you know look at the cards in a different way or do your art and be inspired by them, it's just like another whole level of that intuition that comes forth from you know being readers, you know. Um, so I just love how we have Kaylee, we have Jeff, we have Ramon, we have you. Um, and I, I have invited Annie Bear. Annie Bear, the invitation is still out, my dear. Um, I know she's she a little shy of doing her. She's such a guys. beautiful soul. She is. She really so, is. Um, the door is always open. Annie Bear would love to have you. Um, yeah, even if she came on and did one of those meditations, like it's very poetic what yeah. she does with that. It really is. It's very beautiful. It um, is. Kay, uh, Kaylee says, went to do dishes, came back, and poof, a new person. <laughs> poof. Yep. Poof. <laughs> Here we go. Poof bear. No, <laughs> but I love the new name, um, Bard of Cards. So everybody be sure um, Kaylee has her channel. She's getting it going, just like a lot of us with Viviani. Um, just really, let's just start really building up our community and our channels. Um, and Hello, Jay. Just really quick. Hi, Majestic Oracle. This is hi, Jay Maj popping in to say hi. So thanks for the support and love. And Jay, I can't remember if you said you write. Um, so if you do any sort of type of writing, um, give me a holler. It seems like a lot of new people that are coming into my life through the YouTube yeah. community. A lot of them will say, oh, yeah, I write or yeah, I do art. But, you know, I just mostly do the cards. Well, come on, let's let's share all of it, you know, so. Um, and not only is what majestic like what she's putting out there she is like like model gorgeous she's beautiful yeah, no <laughs> y'all haven't looked at her Jay. channel she's, she's gorgeous absolutely gorgeous yes. <laughs> she really is <laughs> a little jealous but, uh... <laughs> i mean you know i just like i was like I, I hope this doesn't sound weird i was like oh my gosh i had no idea you're so beautiful <laughs> I little was like, wow, um, she's gorgeous. But Jay is, has, has a lot of beautiful talents and um, she shares a lot with me. She's been a great new support to me. So um, I appreciate her and, and all the new people um, coming in. And what's this? Kaylee said, oops, this is how quick chat jumps. Just finished sketching out a new painting last week. Now to try too. and find time to paint. So instead of crying, just put a big smile on there. No, nice. no sad faces. You'll cool. find time. Um, and Jay said, hey, Care Bear, good to put a beautiful face with a name. Aww. Aww. Yes, because Karen really supports a lot of our channels popping in. Um, so, yes. Yes, um, I'll follow you or subscribe back and support you as well. I just enjoy the interaction <laughs> and mm -hmm. seeing, sharing, you know, like, I think um, we all have a light to shine and it's brighter if we do it together. Mm -hmm. I like her. She's a keeper. <laughs> <laughs> He's a keeper. Hello, Harley. 
Good to see you. Hi, Harley. Moira is popping in for people coming in. Um, if you have not seen um, any previous videos, um, this is Karen. This is our Care Bear, our card of bards um, that, are, that pops into our chats and says hello and has these amazing conversations with us. Like on Friday, we had um, Carolyn and Peter Pepper and we were sharing our stories. Yeah. And um, Karen is also supposed to join Jackie and I one of these days for a um, investigative tarot as well. Yes. So yes, um, bring her, um, her beautiful yeah. gifts to one of those shows. Um, and Kaylee, oops. And Kaylee says, definitely helps me get through the day. Love the community. Me too. Oh, so everyone's saying hi to you. Hi. <laughs> I'm so excited all of you are here. And Karen also got some exciting, um, I don't say new, well, to, I don't know if you want to call it news, but she got an amazing shout out. Did you want to uh, share that with people? See yeah, notes? I mean, seriously, like, <laughs> I thought it was, I mean, this is a terrible way to put it, but I really thought I was going to like pee myself. I was so excited. <laughs> <laughs> when I saw it, I'm not kidding. Like I woke up in the morning, I looked, and um, Anatorian of um, the Terror of the Abyss. Like I, I started my um, series on my channel, eighty poems and eighty cards. Um, I'm working on the second and third poem right now. Uh, I'm taking mm -hmm. my time with them because I want to do them justice. Mm -hmm. And my first one was about her Queen of Wands, and I just, you know, tagged, of course, because I was referencing her and using her material and everything. I tagged her, like her channel and everything, and she actually went on and listened to my poem and wrote me the most beautiful comment and said that. She um she was like, if the guidebook wasn't already done, I'd want it to be in there. And I was like, oh my gosh. I, I had to text Heather Maybe and Jeff. I'm like, us. what is this? <laughs> I would, would like to join us for a show. Yes. She I could share her writing and yeah, that would be I wonderful. Think, I think she what she's amazing. Um, I just was blown away though. Um, that's what is so miraculous on WooTube, TerraTube, whatever we want to call it. I like our... that WooTube. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of like that one too, WooTube. Um, you know, in our little bit here, you just never know. I mean, y'all had Sasha Graham, you know, Jackie. That was, yeah, yeah. Jackie made that happen. And I was kind of yeah. nervous. I thought, you know, what if she know? I, I was a little, yeah, like, like I said, I was nervous. You know, here's this, you know, best-selling author and whatnot and cards and stuff. And I'm thinking, oh my God, I'm you know, is she going to be kind of like one of those, you know, people that you're know, kind of standoffish and that question, yeah, you know, and talk, but she was just like, hey, girls, you know, and it was, so, I mean, it was just so, I mean, we just had a blast. She was just so down to earth. So, and then she was kind of like, oh my God, she's like taking a, like a, a screenshot. She's putting it on her Instagram, yes. you know, of Jackie and I saying, these girls used my, one of my decks for, you know, for crime readings and it's just amazing and stuff. So yeah, I would actually love to have her on, um, to do a segment with me, um, because of her being a, you know, a deck creator, even though she's not the artist who does them, she is a major part of the creation and maybe get one of her artists to join us and, mm -hmm. and really address this issue of bootleg and counterfeit decks. I saw her starting to have that conversation on a podcast and I thought, oh, at some point when I get settled in, I really want to make some emails to her and to maybe one of her deck creators and see if um, she would like to come on for, for yeah. all of us to have that conversation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And even um, Anna too. I mean, this is a, this is something that's, you know, is, is a serious deal for a lot, especially if you're an indie artist, you know. She does. Um, I've noticed because I subscribe to her channel, she does um, these like fireside ghost stories too. So I wonder, mm -hmm. I wonder, because I mean, I know she said she wasn't so sure about doing the true crime thing, but um, I wonder if she wouldn't maybe come on and be a guest for your paranormal night. That would be a cool one too for the pair oracle. Just an idea. Yeah. Cause yeah. it looks like she's like really into the, yeah. So she's Karen, we'll have to have a talk backstage. We'll do a, a, a coffee talk. Some ideas. I, I've noticed my circles are kind of expanding. 
and moving into other areas. <laughs> and I like the new energy coming in and really would love to focus on, um, on uh, all this wonderful, um, yeah, you just, I don't, I don't want to say com not camaraderie, but just support and encouragement. Yeah. You know? Um, because and we have our, fun. our community is expanding so much that some of them are starting to break off into their own little circles and things here and there. Me, I seem to be moving into my own and I just love that positive energy and that vibe that doing poetry with you and Jeff and doing poetry with Ramon and, you know, hanging out with Jackie and Rain for their tarot and, if it, 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 and Allison on our Friday nights, just chilling and you know, hanging out. I, I like that energy. I want to keep that energy. I'm seeing the comments. So let me start another one here. And Harley wanted to share with you, Karen. Oh my God, that's Care Bear. <laughs> oh, you're so sweet and beautiful. I'm so happy to see the real you. I have tears in my eyes. Oh my God, Aww. I didn't know that. That's, I didn't read that far. But Aww. yeah, you know, people are appreciated and loved, you know. Um, because sometimes, you know, we Jeff and I have noticed and talked about, you know, also with Tom and some other people, how sometimes ego kind of gets in the way sometimes in, in you know, our community and certain circles and things. And um, we just love keeping it real, you know, in our chat. And um, Karen has always kept it real in my chats and in any other chat that I've seen her. So, yeah. Um, again, <laughs> what do you see? get? <laughs> That's why I like having Jeff on. I feel safe and comfortable with Jeff and with you and with Ramon and Jackie. So it's a nice little family that we are building up. Allison. I mean, I've learned so much from Allison um, over the years. And I have another one for you, Moira. I would love to see a collaborative effort between tarot tubers to educate people about the harm and supporting counterfeit decks. Yes. Oh, all right. Come here. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah absolutely absolutely I think that's really good I'm gonna have to write that down that's a good one behave okay all right he wanted to say hello to everyone not to mention that they're oh hi yep. he wanted to say hello he heard me hi. talking so you got to and no kitty butt <laughs> Alrighty. So hello, Earl. Welcome, welcome. That is a great uh, idea, Maura. Harley, I can imagine a conference with the whole community. That would be great. I've actually done a show, a recorded show wild. with Sylvia on Colorful Foresight. Um, I think she's aired it because she does pre um pre-recorded videos and she just kind of like drops them um mm -hmm. she's you know every few months or so and I also brought it up with um, Sylvia when I did the forecast, artist forecast for 2024, um, when I was with her and Sherry yeah. and I think Patty and just really talking about, you know, you know, the problems. And, and I have a really good friend who says, oh, yeah, I, I buy those. I, I buy them and I'll look and see if I like them. And if I like them, then I'll buy the real thing. And I'm just like, but why but, bother? Yeah. You know, so it's still, I go flip throughs on YouTube, you know, and she's like, well, I read, so I, for me, it's a spiritual tool, you know? Yeah. Um, and sometimes what, they're really not that much cheaper by the time you look at it. And yeah, the then the quality you're sucks. Yeah. yeah. You're going to get a lot of times typos. The card Ooh, stock is so awful. Nice. They're like tiny, like, you know, just. Like yeah. you would buy just the blanks of tarot cards off of Amazon to like handwrite your own, which I do that. Yeah. <laughs> it is definitely. And I did see, yes. See, people love you. Yes. Oh, people love you. He's like, what, what, what? They, so, they love um, the kitty. Yes. I wear my cat ears. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. And how I'm a headband Fiona? person. I have all kinds of crazy headbands. So. <laughs> Fiona, welcome to the channel. Um, I don't know if I have seen you before, so thank you for being here. Um, and for people who don't know who this is, of course, this is one of the one of the two of them. So this is Mazi. He's my Bombay mix. He was a rescue. Beautiful. And he is what you're what thirteen years old now this year. Yeah, my cat's thirteen. Boy. 
So now you're going to have to get down because we know what's going to happen, don't we? Yes, we do. All righty. Mm -hmm. Off you go. Oh, my cat likes to hop on my astrology notes while I'm in class. I'm like, no, <laughs> I'm trying to write. He just plops all over the place. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my teacher, he right. talks so fast. I'm like, ah. Well, we just had Jeff read one of his poems. Would you like to share one? Maybe the one that got Anna's attention? Yeah, yeah. I brought that one. I want to share that one. Um, okay. Yeah, I didn't bring the card <laughs> In here with me that is based off you can see it in my thumbnails on my channel um but it was based off the queen of wands from her deck the queen of wands um she does not have her on her throne she is um in a dark forest kind of little forest clearing area and she is sitting in front of a bonfire and she's cross-legged it has a very intimate feel to it and she has oh this very God like kind of um, earthy, I don't know how to describe her crown. Like it's not like a standard, you know, jewel crown. It's um, very earthy in its feel. And um, she said that she wanted all of her court cards for the wands to have this setting with the bonfire and the page brings the materials for the fire then the knight delivers the fire elemental to the queen the queen ignites the fire oh this is the tarot of the abyss, the abyss. <laughs> sorry yes <laughs> By Anna Torian. beautiful it's a black and it's in black and white but you don't miss the color at all because the illustrations and the art it's just it, i think it, i've seen Amy's mystic tarot um, I think Beautiful. Amy uses that on her on her show, and I think um, a Sahadna might have pulled it out before. But I know Amy. Um, I saw Cosmic out. Orphan did a flip through of it. Not did he? Ago. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And I was like, Ah, that's my deck. He was like, I love it. And I'm like, Yeah, right. It's and if people amazing. don't know who Cosmic Orphan is, he has a great channel where he goes through all of his um, decks that he gets, and he does um, flip throughs, and he could, he gets some really like old outdated or un unprinted ones and French ones at the flea market or yeah so rent. yeah he's got his channel too he has a lot of cool stuff and when he pops in here he's like the best moderator ever too <laughs> <laughs> he really is he's all okay. over it. um I haven't seen him in a while so hopefully we'll see him again soon that would but, be nice uh, but you know with the the queen of wands it was about not only igniting the fire, but fire, you know, it takes oxygen and fuel to keep it going. And it can be quick to die without those things. Um, just like, you know, the, it kind of embodies the fire with the sun. Uh, where would earth be without the sun? <laughs> Yeah. we would be frozen cold nothing would grow you think about it it really is the essence and the spark of life and she's not only uh building and maintaining that fire it has a really like an intimate feel like she's sharing it with her kingdom as too um kingdom too and that really uh spoke to me and this poem for me is a Kind of a call to action for all of us content creators and and viewers who i know you have gifts because I, I sat back <laughs> and i didn't start anything and um i know you have gifts to share and this is kind of like a call to feed that fire and put it out like let's share it um just like i think i said earlier it's not just about one light. Like we have all of these lights. We're going to shine way brighter together than just singularly. So, all right. That's my little spill. <clears throat> it's called Honor Your Fire. Honor your fire, the inner spirit that flickers in the ethers. Stoke the flame that urges inspired action. Time is fleeting. Let your light emerge above the horizon. Revere the dreams and visions locked within. Let them be seen, touched, smelled, 
heard, and even tasted. Birth your ideas into existence. Thoughts remain intangible without the passionate will to manifest. Creation is courageous and bright, vital as the sun's light is to our survival. This sacred flame is a divine gift within us all. Mother, this elemental power with unconditional love and respect, nurture and protect it like a child. Embrace and guard this heat safely. Don't let it spread and wander wild like an inferno. Neglect the fiery spark of life and it dwindles to a mere ember. Dormant until it fades into oblivion. Honor your fire with a steadfast will in hand. Rule it with grace and wear its warm golden crown with appreciation. Honor your fire in the fire of others. Don't shine too bright as to dim another's light, nor be a passive onlooker content to do nothing. Whether it be art, music, math, writing, cooking, gardening, architecture, science, whatever it may be, you possess a skill to create. Honor your fire today so your legacy remains long after the ashes fly away. That's it. <laughs> That's really good. I loved it. That Thank is beautiful. You. I'm trying to find the card for you. Um, on, <laughs> on, on the internet, Queen of Wands. Yeah, you know, but that was too. The abyss. I'm getting so. I'm now. I'm on Pinterest. Where's this Queen of Fire? This Queen of. I mean, Queen of Wands, and I can't find it. She's beautiful. Oh, but it's it's beautiful, and the artwork. Oh my goodness, this isn't the deck that I thought um, we were discussing, and I'm just looking at this artwork now, going, oh wow, this is like it moves really me. beautiful. It moves me. I can't wait to get to like the six of cups and the seven of cups. I have no real um, process in picking the card. The card kind of picks me. <laughs> yeah. And Jay said, "Fire sign energy here." Beautifully said. Yep, Jay has a birthday coming up. She's an Aries Thank girl, you. just like Gals, and so another fire sign. And hello, I'm Aries to too. Leo's my North Node, so this yeah. I feel is like a a really big. Like I'm gonna read this as a um. Thank you, Ramon. That really and means a lot to me. The snap, snap, snap for you doing the reading. There we go. Oh, thank you. It, this is something I'm going to read to myself. You know, be like, get in there, do it. Don't let it die. You know, uh, it's, it's a part of what helps everything else thrive around me. Mm -hmm. is... Definitely gifted. Beautiful. Oh, thank you. And so are all of you. Like, this is um, just an amazing community. I love it. And Earl has a <laughs> birthday coming up too. So happy Hi. for early birthday, Earl. Earl, my son's <laughs> birthday is April 20th, the day after. Oh, nice. And Harley says, oh, well, thank it's you. beautiful Care Bear. Wonderful metaphors. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Well, you know, I'm just going to put this out there in case Anna hears or any other deck creators here. If anybody needs poetry, or anything right and special for their cards for their upcoming decks. Um, I think we got your girl right here. <laughs> I think any yeah. of any yeah. Heather and Jeff. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and she's April 27th, Kaylee. Aww. But yeah, so if anybody comes around, they're looking for you know, um, any writers. Wait a minute, boy, the chat's just jumping so. Jeff, are you an Aries? Yes. Uh, I like to think of myself as being on the cusp of Taurus. Uh -huh. and the, and the cusp of power, but it's not really. It's it's Aries because it doesn't really start till the 18th. When is but your I birthday? Was born, but I have seen I have seen people say the 17th is the cusp. Oh, but um I was born at eleven oh five PM yeah, Paris, nice. France time. So Oh, you were born in Paris? Yeah. Oh, wee oui, wee. Oui. That's pretty. Why did I think you were a Libra? I don't know. 
Well, maybe because of that Aries Libra polarity thing when Neptune goes into Pisces or when Neptune goes into Aries. Because he seems to be like he would be a Libra. He goes into war and then Aries is war, but I'm like the furthest thing from war you can find. So not war, not war, but you take your 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 pen to your paper. That's war. That's the war. That's the war you're coming out because before when I was it matters about your moon and rising. With Archangel Michael, I was like having a hard time vision because every time I turn around, people had him, you know, cutting off Zane's head, had him with all this big armor, him big flying hair, big wing, you know, Mister, you know, beefcake and stuff. And I'm like, I don't feel that. I don't see that. I don't feel like that's how I can connect. And when I went to a meditation, here's a library with a big desk coming in, sitting down, and I'm looking, going a library a pen why do you have a pen where's your sword and he goes well isn't the pen mightier than the sword and so that's where he got me the idea of you know we have power it doesn't have to be a weapon where you know we we you know physically harm somebody you know he goes we have that warrior aspect in all of us for some people political painters and artists katie colwitz and all of them back in the day they would paint and use their charcoals and that was their way of being a warrior, of getting their their you know, um, getting their 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 thoughts across. You know, the the musicians of the '60s, you know, the hippies mm-hmm. who were against the war. And here is you know, writing poetry, and so that's how we can channel that inner warrior through right. our own. That gifts. is true. Yes. Mm-hmm. Jeff Aries is a cardinal fire energy, so you Hi, know, Ray. like the fire starter. You're the you're the beginner of things. Um, it doesn't mean that you have to be aggressive about it. There's many different uh, qualities of your energy within that. So, so that's um, a fallacy I have, right? It's it's. <laughs> no, I, don't I mean, mean in a bad way, but like. No, I mean I'm that. I'm an Aries rising in Vedic, and I didn't really um, relate to that. So. Because they but, say rising is what you're supposed to become. I'm a sad rising. Ah, You're rising. Oh, Sorry, that's, that's my so little girl. Interesting. I'm a sun Sag and an Aries rising. You know, there you go. Aries and you're We're a Sag rising. Current. Yeah. Well, no wonder we get along so well. Yeah. <laughs> and yes, um, Rain, this is our Care Bear. So this Hi, is the Rain. first time Rain gets to see you. This is spiritual Rain. Um, she has her her woo her woo tube channel. <laughs> and um, I hang out with her and Jackie on Tuesdays. We discuss tarot. And she also does a, has a kitchen and garden. And she's also an artist. And she has an artist channel. So she's popping in through via her, her kitchen. And she wears and amazing her, hats. And she's got her cowboy hats. Yes, or cowgirl hats, excuse yes. me. <laughs> yes. Yes, her and her fabulous I have one. hats. Yeah. Um, so that is so cool how, you know. That's so weird, Jeff. Isn't that? I wouldn't, I wouldn't guess that. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I'm a big believer in astrology. Um, it's a little bit. I want to know your moon, and, your moon, moon and, and your cancer. rising. Moon and Cancer, Sag rising, That's Virgo right. midheaven. Okay. Okay. Mercury. I need to know your Mercury too. My Mercury. I'd have to get that from SG Tarot Astro. I don't know where my Mercury is. Oh, that's is. right, Karen. You're studying astrology, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah. Mercury is how you communicate. I wonder yeah. since you're a writer. That's why. I, I think it might be in Gemini, but I'm not sure. That makes yeah. sense. <laughs> my Mercury is in Cancer, but I'm a Gemini. And I'm a Taurus moon in rising. So I've got the Venusian energy, some That's a good, water in there with the yeah. communication and lots of really good. We, yeah. all, we all, all three of us have water in one of our main signs. I have a Pisces yeah. moon. And my Shan's That's a Pisces sun. Very That's intuitive so moon to have. Mm-hmm. Yes. Very much so. And Fiona and cancer, yeah. says, my sun and moon are both in Cancer. Yeah, wow, that's beautiful. And Kaylee's beautiful. already throwing out a prompt. Yes, we will get there. <laughs> okay. We'll get to the prompts. I can't um, wait. <laughs> so now I can see your messages, Jeff. Hey. Oh, okay. Oh, I think she was um messaging, jumping from chat to chat. So if some people can't see who we you know we're talking to, um, Jeff is um got his channel up and running too with this slide. So um 
make sure you head over to Jeff's channel. Um, are you doing a, are you tapped into doing a simulcast, Karen? Mm -hmm. oh. Karen, are you simulcasting? What, for right? For now? For now, yeah, I'm tapped, I'm I'm logged into yours, Heather. Because uh, I only see um, Jeff's, that's why I was wondering. Because hmm, right I followed Jeff your is... link. <laughs> oh, no, 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 I mean your channel. Are you Are you live right now on your channel? Oh, I have no idea. I don't know. Maybe don't not so. because um, I it gets am confusing. seven for me. subscribers short of 50 and I can go live at 50. I got really close. I'm getting close. I didn't Stop know that you really helped you. last night. No, yeah. wait a minute. I went live a year, couple years ago before I even really got into the channel and I went through YouTube I live know. and I was I able to do read it. that somewhere. Maybe it's a falsity at this point. I, I don't know. I, don't know. <laughs> I thought um, that, but no, I'm close no. to 50. Um, I just followed the link, so I really am not, I, don't, I have no idea. <laughs> well, I know a lot of people were going over and subscribing yard. to you, so. Oh, well, thank we're you. We're all getting, so I'm going to um, highlight that, Kaylee. Um, and let's see, I just saw something about Michelle Marie and Colleen do astrology. Yeah. Michelle Marie, I don't um, follow Colleen too much. There's just so many of us in the yeah. community right now to be able to yeah. hit everybody. So, is but Michelle yeah, it's like Marie calculus to me too. Is the vid, I... uh, Michelle is astrological Cheryl. Uh, yeah, yeah, Cheryl. No. Cheryl, Cheryl, Gucci, Gucci. Um, yes. <laughs> people don't know who I'm. Yeah, Jeff. I like her channel. remember who she is. Everyone's going, what? Heather, yeah. you did great. You and Michelle did great earlier this week, by the way, or last week. I don't know. Was it Thursday did, night? Yeah. I did something. what? When you were um when you went on her channel and y'all were doing readings together. Oh, Michelle Marie's on that Wednesday. Yeah. Wednesday. I get nervous. Thursday. Yeah. <laughs> sometimes there's a lot. Oh, and she just subbed to Karen. Awesome. So oh, let's get her numbers you. up. Thank you. Um, but yeah, and, and Michelle also knows how to do astro mapping. And because I I've fun. been interested in in relocating to Oregon, and so she spent some time with me and put my information in, and we looked at astro mapping, and um, she was like, "Yeah, it looks like a good place for me, you know, to you know, for you cool. to be there." The only thing is, like, oh my god, that to appeals to me too. Is that about violence. finding the right place to live based on the configuration of? Yeah. Oh mm -hmm. my god! If there's that's anyone on really YouTube cool. that, yeah, I want to do that. I just Aww, want to. Know. That's cool. Yeah, yep, cool. Michelle Marie, astrological uh, tarot. She does those. She's she does got that? all the programs. Yeah, she does wow. the, the sidereal. She knows the Vedic and me. I'm just like the minute you start going, something's up against trying this. I'm just like, okay, everything just glazes over. But <laughs> right. hey, at least I know my three main signs, and we're good to go. Yeah. So she's got the um, Vedic. I'm studying the Western, the classic astrology yeah. right now, and part of my thing after I finish class to pass my certification whatever um i have to do 100 free readings so oh watch out <laughs> when i put those up be your guinea pig yes i have already um, developed a developing a running list right now so that just awesome. watch out on my channel when that pops up we're, we're helping her build her long channel. Class. We're helping her build her astrology, <laughs> you know, know how getting her, you know, getting her in tuned into that. That's awesome. Um, well, thank you. And Jay says, uh, yeah, I'm in the process of mapping out my next spot. Very cool. I'm going to ask hello, my teacher Thomas. about that later. If there's a way to. Thomas, Thomas, oh. Thomas, Thomas, is he all? Um, Hi. And boy, chat's jumping. Hello, Nancy. Nancy, a crown situation. And Nancy, I haven't finished watching it yet because I had to get ready for the show. But Nancy did a beautiful video today on the Fool's Journey. Almost had me in tears. It was so beautiful. So anybody gets a chance, make sure to go and, and watch Nancy's video on her Fool's Journey. And it's just a real beautiful story um, that she shared with all of us, you know. Um, it's a beautiful soul. Mm -hmm, she is. So blessed, you know, another one in my group Mondays, you know, I do Divine Feminine with Nancy tomorrow at 5 p.m. We do Divine Feminine messages where we give the Divine Feminine a voice. Sometimes yeah. when we go into a lot of, you hear a lot about, 
you know, Yeshua and all these, you know, male, listen, you know, yeah. here, let's just focus on, you know, the feminine and her and I just really, I, and it's not just for women, by the way. Yes. And Earl, if he's still here, um, <laughs> I was, I was allowed to do a beautiful reading for him a couple of weeks ago that, um, that's why whenever I see Earl pop in, I get a nice big smile on my face because, you know, you know, he, he helped me learn how to trust in myself. His question helped me say, okay, you know, I'm trusting properly. I'm on, I'm, I'm learning properly. I'm yeah, I'm connecting. So thank Aww. you. Oh, Earl is here. <laughs> Earl is here. Earl that is still was, here. Um, I had chills that night when that happened. Um, yeah, that was an amazing night. And I wasn't even looking at the chat. And when I was done, it was just like, oh, my goodness. So it was blessings, beautiful. Earl, blessings. And you are preparing for North Carolina while you're going to be in um, Nancy State. You're going to be in Ginger I'm State. So going to be near me, South Carolina. Yeah. Oh, wow. Very nice. <laughs> um, and Harley says, oh, Heather, you read my mind. I'm not telepathic, but... Uh, I love Nancy's video too. It, I was teary. It's a beautiful story. Yeah. I've got to go and watch that. Thank you for mm -hmm. mentioning that. Yes. Um, so before we move on, I um, wanted to share one of my poems. And then if you want, we can start taking prompts. Unless Jeff, there was another poem or um, what would you two like to do? You were supposed to be I my I want to go right into ago. prompts after this. I don't know what what Karen wants to do. Okay. She's, yeah, yeah. I'll do a couple of here. prompts and then I probably have to hop okay. off for the kids, but yeah. Okay. I'll hang in for All, right. All okay. right. So let me shoot one that I've been working on because our weather keeps going up and down. It's like winter can't make up its mind what it's doing. So um, it's got a little romantic and then we'll be. I just want to say too, I don't know if you saw Karen, but Rain wants a reading from you. Oh, oh. Okay, sure. I think I saw that. Yeah. So, Rain, cool. if you're out there, you might want to connect with Karen and give her your info. Yeah, okay. I'm, look, I'm looking think, up here. Oh, yeah, yeah. there we go. Um, she. Yeah, yes, she you're already channels. on my list. Yeah. Okay. Oh, she's yeah. already on your list. All, all right. Awesome. Awesome. So, all righty. And Earl says, I will be just outside of Raleigh. And Nancy says, well, welcome, Earl. That's wonderful. I love that. Welcome, Earl. <laughs> yeah. So and I can say that because I'm Southern. <laughs> yeah. And I'm from the East Coast, but yeah, I say y'all. And it's because I lived eight years in Arizona. And that was one of the, you know, popular good words was y'all. So, yep. That's my little bit of my, my Southwest still with me. Um, so, short one. But I, you know, because we've been going back and forth between 55, 60, 70 degree weather, then dropping down to two inches of snow, this up and down. So um, I had a little fun with this. Um, it's called, well, I didn't, I didn't type, you know, give it a title, just like my artwork. I have a hard time with titles. Um, but I might just call it Winter Wanted One More Dance. Winter Wanted One More Dance. He extended his hand and gifted her an exquisite corsage. Newly grown daffodils dappled with finely encrusted ice crystals and a veil of softly fallen snow. As the equinox dawned, his sun flecked eyes kissed her moon raven hair in a secret love affair. They both shined in a waltz, reminding us that time is just a pulse of light with an expansive universe, embracing the heartbeat of night under the branches of the world tree. And I forgot to mention that. Winter one and one more dance with Gaia. I forgot to put Gaia in there. <laughs> so I was going between Mother Earth and Gaia, but that's who I was I was writing about. So yeah. Is that I mean, cause like I just want to snap for you on that one. I mean, Heather, oh. seriously. <laughs> that was beautiful. And I'm still working on that's kind of like the skeleton I like, parts of I it. I want to so. see that written and wrap my head around some of the the um the imagery that you were using that was really beautiful thank you that thank might you. be one of your best ones i mean that i you've Ooh. written a lot of things but i really really enjoyed that it was beautiful thank you and photo mm -hmm. focus really all i could think of is the dixie chick song well no now they go by the chicks 
because the they've gotten so yeah. disgusted with Texas and the South. They said, we're just going to call ourselves the chicks. And I said, you go, girls. I love these girls. They, you know, they stood up to Bush. They stood up to, you know, their state. The, I mean, you know, these girls, they're all right in my book. And hello, Sylvia. Welcome, welcome, my dear. Hi, um, Sylvia. <laughs> uh, oops. Aw, uh, thank you, Harley. Aw. Uh, and That's thank you. That beautifully. Roman. Wasn't it, Ramon? That was really exquisite is a good word. It would have yeah. been nice if I would have put in who, you know, the the other person was in there. I was just like going, wait a minute, did I forget to say Gaia? Or say I don't know if it should be yeah. Gaia. We wouldn't have Mother noticed. Earth, you know, <laughs> we wouldn't have even noticed. To... Yeah. Oh my to... Gaia. <laughs> oh my Gaia. <laughs> she said there that. That was so funny. Yeah. I love that. Um, before we get into prompts, Fiona wanted to know again. What Mercury, what is your Mercury in again, Karen? Cancer. Cancer. And it's actually in the third house. So it's. Yeah, um, watch out. She's got the little pinchers. Don't mess with her. <laughs> so emotional, but I still managed to stay in the mercurial house <laughs> in my natal chart. Uh, but I, I I appreciate that I have that. And apparently we're supposed to have like, really good memories too. I, I remember. I might not remember your name, but I might remember, you know, what your favorite color is and mm -hmm. details, you know, just, um, it's really For random. me, it's fur babies. <laughs> if one of my fellow readers has an animal, I'll remember, or a neighbor or somebody, I'll remember the animal's name before I'll ever remember the person's name. <laughs> uh, so they made a big impression. Goodness. Yeah. Uh, can somebody please give me Care Bears? Like, yeah, could one of my um, mods put... Um, uh, <laughs> Lady link that into the chat. Yeah, if you like Care Bear Bard of Cards, I think it comes up pretty good now. But yeah, Bard um, of Cards. I'm on my phone, so I can't do it. But um, so if maybe um, Ram okay, I'm see. I don't know if I have any Ramon Rain Sylvia. If one of you could do that, that would be awesome. Um, Jeff's in two. Um, yeah, let's just keep the. The numbers going up. Um, Thank you. And somebody, oh, okay, I already put that up there. And Earl okay. said, you know, he always got picked on about the Dixie Chicks years ago. Yeah. I bet you I, did. I lived in Arizona when, you know, that issue with Bush, you know, and I stood behind them girls. Wide open spaces. And my favorite song, I think one of my favorite songs by them is Won't Play Nice, mm -hmm. where they just kind of said, you know what, screw up. Now you know, it probably like, wouldn't have even been a big deal. I mean, that's just how much that we are becoming used to <laughs> drama bigger and bigger i mm -hmm. mean look what let's not even get into that but still yeah and and toby keith went after them too and you know so when they said oh toby keith passed away mm. yeah wow to me you know that's sad but when yeah. I, I think about what all those country musicians and people did to the, did to those girls yeah, them. totally got blackballed. They um, mm -hmm. But they didn't break up. They're still releasing music. I think it's beautiful. Her voice is amazing. Natalie. And now, and now Taylor Swift is kind of taking the, the hit too because she's telling young people to get out there and to vote and she's anti-Trump and, you know, all this. And she's getting backlash now, but you, you wouldn't, it's not hurting her though. And so I have to give her props too. But there oh. are some young people still, you know, gives me hope. Yes. Yes. Well, let's do some prompts. Let's try it. Yes. Let's and then I got to go take care of a uh, household right. around here. Sorry. Sometimes <laughs> I go on tangents. I'm sorry, guys. Oh, no. Um, I'm one big tangent after another. All righty. So possible prompt with full moon. Yes, we have the full moon tomorrow. Uh, let's see, taking out the trash, <laughs> releasing either literally or metaphorically. And I'm going to go ahead and Oops. pull um, a card to go along with the moon. See what I get. Colette Baron reads. I can't remember the name of this deck. She's got so many of them. <laughs> Oh my God, Jeff, you would not believe what I got. The moon. 
Okay. <laughs> a no way. No. Oh, oh, you're using an oracle. Okay, okay. No oh, way. God, like back in there. I can't. I can't do this with a with a straight face no. if I kick out. Oh my god. <laughs> People are like, "What?" I'm like, "Guys, it's it's a uh, yeah." Oh, all the cards, Jeff. <laughs> now, if I can only come up with winning numbers like that, you know. All right. So, when somebody is ready, let me know. Ooh. Okay. Full moon. We're supposed to have that lunar eclipse to this weekend or in the next day or two, I think, also. I saw something about that. Let's see. Yeah. Maybe tomorrow is it? Thank you, um, Ramon, for putting the links in. And I saw that you did it too for um, Karen. Thanks, Jeff. Thank you. I appreciate that. I'm getting close. I'm surprised. All right. You're all set? I'm, not, I'm almost there. I, oh, I thought okay. I was going to be stuck like on like line two. I'm like, woo. I'm trying to do a haiku. <laughs> I'm trying to do a haiku. And it's like, oh, I wow. A syllable off. How do I get rid of this extra syllable? Hmm. Really hoping I can read my handwriting. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> mm, okay. I think I'm done. Or who? Okay. I really didn't think I was going to be first. Okay. So we um, had the moon, the taking out the trash theme. Literally, I started <laughs> shuffling my deck. I'm using the Poppy Palin. Um, yeah, the Everyday Enchantment Tarot. The backs are gorgeous on this, by the way. Oh, goodness, there we go. And they're really big cards, though. And I didn't even barely start shuffling. And I'm reading this comment about taking out the trash. And what do I get? The Seven of Blades. And I see this fox on here. And um, I have been seeing a fox around my house. Aww. And we have a lot of Canada geese. And not, I mean, you know, I love, you know, foxes. The be we have beavers back there and everything. They've killed some fir trees, but still, I mean, it's just nature. I mean, it's just hard though seeing and knowing like we're having fewer goslings every year, and I think I know why. So I kind of wrote a poem about this. <laughs> I saw him slinking across my yard the other morning. Yeah, so. And I, for, I think I forgot to name this, but at the top, I just put full moon release. So we'll go with that. <laughs> Stalking past the water's edge, shimmering bright by the moon's reflection. The mothers are sleeping, tucked away in their nest, guarding their eggs from the predators at bay. Stealthily, he slinks across the grass, past the screech owl who doesn't ever hear this thief in action. The fox waits for the dawn to come and the geese to leave their home. He takes her eggs and slinks across my lawn. A simple sly smile he throws my way. It's just the cycle of life. What lives must die and so on. That's how I ended up. Very nice. Thanks. <laughs> I've been uh, wanting to write about that fox. <laughs> I love foxes. I do too. I mean, and really his smile, he, he looked at me, he's like, I can't even, it's pretty amazing. They have, um, in our neighbor's yard, I, um, is where the, the kit, they had kits and their little den is. And I have to show you, oh, I got to show you something really quick because you like love foxes. Look at this guy. Oh, that's, that's from my Blue Norman deck. I wanted to share that. So I was like, oh, I just had this the looks other like night. an angel. Yeah. yeah the little Arctic fox. He's one of my favorites. Aww. Okay. Off to you, Jeff. Okay. He's like, okay. Um, I wanted to call this message in a bottle, but there's a song by that title. I think it's message the police. In or a bottle. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> this the framework is this bottle that washes the shore um and the card i got was this that inspired it the um in, the immigration card in politics or the uh, uh the, <laughs> the six of swords the swords okay yeah. okay so washed ashore how long has this bottle with no message been laid to waste Humanity in hot water, a time capsule unearthed. What a shame. Not knowing if in it we will live to know if one man's trash could have been another man's pleasure. Just to pick up whatever was yours is beyond measure. The stakes are higher than ever. When the catharsis won't save us from impatience of tides, which will leave mankind crestfallen. Even now, there's no time left to find solace. That's what I got. <laughs> it's always good. I love the word catharsis. Mm. Well, very nice, Jeff. You I should write that, that down and remember to use it. Catharsis, <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> I keep a word list, seriously. I do too. <laughs> oh no i didn't do that wrong okay so i did a haiku i pulled um oh you're all getting claps from ramon very oh, nice and yes um you. fiona um i saw harley thank you for explaining um so fiona um 
if you are in Jeff's chat, you're not going to see who's in mine. Only the three of us can see, you know, when I pull up um, and with Jeff being a simulcasting with me, he can see um, from what I share. Me, I can see everybody's. So that's just the way YouTube is right now with the simulcasting with the StreamYard. Hopefully they'll figure something out where when we do this, everybody can see everybody in all chats. So in the meantime, that would be you fun. Know, having to go to another channel, click like and say hi to everybody. So um, still putting that out there, YouTube, if you're listening, see if you guys can come together and fix that. Um, so for the full moon, I pulled the high lady of love and compassion, reverence, mm -hmm. kindness, and consideration. And of course, with such a card with so many words and beautiful imagery, I decided to do a haiku, trying to condense what I could into that. So, um, lady of the woods, in reverence, I feel you, la luna, my light. And that's what I have. Wow. That is wonderful. That's hard to do a haiku. That is beautiful. Mm -hmm. That is so hard. That's perfect. I thought you were going to say that's so hardcore. I'm like, yeah, cool. Thanks. <laughs> that's hardcore. <laughs> I was going to say that's so hardcore. hard to do. It's perfect. You tell we're yeah. Gen Xers when we say that's so hardcore. <laughs> um, so you still have some time for another one? I can yeah. do one more. Yeah. Okay. okay. So if um, anybody wants to, <laughs> bravo, Heather, thank you, <laughs> Ramon. Um, Is, wasn't that you wonderful? It's yeah. beautiful. Nancy, just sub to Jeff. I thought oh, I already you, was. Nancy. There you go. Oh. So um, I'm going to shuffle again. Actually, I'm going to shuffle from the um, Robin Wood Tarot, seeing that we're going into spring. <laughs> Moira, hardcore haiku. There we go. <laughs> So, um, if anybody <laughs> that lady to... Luda, she's hardcore. <laughs> I actually have an idea. Why don't we stick to the full moon? Because tomorrow's okay. the full moon, and then we just pull a card to go along with sure the full moon. How's that sound, Jeff? Okay, so we're not taking a prompt then. The well, I haven't, seen, is... I haven't seen any. Oh, uh, okay. Um, I've been looking at the chat and there hasn't been another prompt. So unless oh, no, someone I'm pops ready. Up. Yeah, so we can keep get oh, Karen out when she wants to. Okay. Unless we actually do have a, a prompt, Eclipse. Eclipse. I like that. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Thank you. Uh, do I want that card? Oh. Man, I wish I had my Kim Cran stuck in here. <laughs> I'm gonna offend my cards. You ask for a card, we give you one, then you're like, nah. Ew. Okay. Ooh. Sorry. You can tell I get a little too excited. Moira, that's interesting that you said very eight of cups because that's my card that I pulled today for a daily card for my studies. Totally eclipse of the heart is now in my head. Yep. Total eclipse of the so yeah, but who can remember who's saying that? Bonnie Tyler. Ah, yes. uh, okay. <laughs> Jeff is like Bonnie Tyler. So eclipse is one syllable. Okay, no, eclipse. That's two syllables.
Hmm. Oh, Kaylee's sharing too in chat. I'm not ready yet. No, I'm, I'm saying Kaylee. There. Oh, Kaylee. okay. I'm almost ready. <laughs> I know. I'm like, nice. I still do the haiku. Shoot. I'm almost there. Mm hmm. Okay. Well, I'm going to go. Yes, go ahead. I, I, I find haikus are wonderful and challenging, but sometimes they can be very confining. Um, mm -hmm. Yes. Sorry, I'm like, yes. But um, I, I, I'm always up for a challenge, and these will probably be turned into a regular poem at some point. So I pulled the Rainbow Prince from this deck. Nice. Uh, compensation and Perseverance. Those were a lot of symbols, so I mean syllables. So, um, but then I heard someone mention, you know, total eclipse of the heart. So, um, I have eclipse of my heart. A rainbow bridge guides me. My okay. Eclipse of my <laughs> eclipse of my heart. A rainbow bridge guides me. My gift a feather. Because he's got angel wings. So I'll probably play with that a little bit later. And I'm going to get over to Karen. Okay. So isn't of course exactly how I'd want it to be. This was um this is a challenging, you know, it puts us on the spot to come up with something and you're just like, ah. Um, so you know, I would really wasn't too excited about my card to be honest <laughs> in hindsight but, i'm not about mine either yeah i was like really okay it turned into something i didn't want it to there's some pretty amazing cards in this deck and then i get this one but really it's very relatable if you look at it that's what i love about poppy palin this is the ten of wands i mean look at her she's oh, running on a deadline it's kind of the way i feel like you know Ooh, i gotta write this <laughs> that reminds me of my college days, night before ah! college was due. Yeah, good old days. Yes. So, eclipse. As the as the days near to this epic moment, the papers pile up and the pens dry of their ink. The hours run short and the coffee cold. Phone keeps ringing and these words still escape me. Inspiration, strike now! The weight is too much to bear. My fire runs dry. Will I ever make it to the finish line or will I be eclipsed my, bleh, by my competitor? And I all went I <laughs> writing on a deadline. <laughs> I, I like it. I like that line. Will my pen run dry? I yes. like that. Thank you. <laughs> Coffee yeah. cold. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, yeah. 
I think it's something we could all relate with. You know, sometimes mm -hmm. those are really good poems that, you know, you're just like, oh, yeah. Very much so. Poor lady in the cards. Harley said that poor lady in the cards. <laughs> <laughs> and Harley said that was good. Yes. Thank you. Um, so, Jeff. Okay, so uh, four coins. I think people know where I'm going to go with this. <laughs> it's crazy. Keeping up with keeping up with the Joneses, trying to accumulate more that shows. Sometimes the lesson we think others need to learn cannot be foisted. They have to have them put on them by the universe. But with spring's return and the orange burn, our eyes are in meltdown, seeing his possible return. Amounts unfathomable, running the clock's hands of justice down to the final hour. His eclipse comes, but what awaits him is anyone's guess. If he can manipulate the energy until God knows when, to him we're forever, forever tethered. I like, I, I like the manipulation of the energy. Almost like was waiting for like a Kronos or something, you know. Yeah. That's cool. I like the yeah. word tethered. Yeah, tethered. Words I haven't used in a while. I'm hearing. Write down in my word bank. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a keep one. It's really helpful for writing. So definitely is. So oh, that's so much fun. Thank, thank you for you. joining us. Thank you so much. Thank you, Karen. Yes, this is a blast. I'm really glad it didn't totally freeze. I was afraid that I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm not gonna know what to write, you know. <laughs> <laughs> the heat is on. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> Something about the adrenaline rush, you know, you're just like, I gotta do this. <laughs> and like I was telling Jeff, we've done several prompts now where, you know, like mini readings that I'll, I go back, I save them and I'll pick lines from some of them because, yeah. you know, I can't write as well being under that kind of pressure but sometimes I get these little nuggets and I pluck them from here to here and there and then I'll go ahead and I'll see if I can kind of weave them into you know into you know more solid poems so right. yeah I don't you never think know our what ego kind of has time to you know it's like you've got to just roll with kind of what comes out so they have a more primal uh, nature to it before yeah. our mind filters it with pretty prettiness where you've almost feel disconnected in a way. So I think, yeah, you can definitely I have some lines that you want to pull later in a, a good skeleton for a poem too, that you want to transform. Mm -hmm. So I really like that. And like it, Steve Wynn was said, you gotta roll with the baby. Yeah. You're you're channeling music tonight, Heather. Girl, I, I knew it. Like, I just, you know, Jeff and I were talking about listening to our 80s, and I just got on CD so for my car. I'm really getting into it again after all these years. I'm just realizing what a rich tapestry of sounds and how sometimes it puts me in a good mental state too for writing is the um the cure CD disintegration. Mm -hmm. There are so many good songs on that. Yeah, it's me. Put those headphones like Mazzy Star. That's another one. Mazzy Star, you know, they did get yeah. you into a yep. Yeah. Oh. And dark um Pink Floyd. <laughs> Pink Floyd, <laughs> yes. Exactly. It's so funny. I call it um, and this is I'm gonna show y'all like a really quirky side of me right now. Is um if you didn't already know when um like the guitar, like I cannot even shut up like it almost sounds like I'm a cat, like singing with the guitar lines. It's like, wow, 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 you know? Well, my, my fellow is a guitar player. And so when he goes <laughs> and he plays, I'll sit out there sometimes. And like we used to, when we first start going out, um, he'll play like, um, he, he knows, you know, like Leather and Lace by, because he loves Don Henley and the Eagles. Mm -hmm. And I love Stevie Nicks. So I'll sit there and I'll sing while, you know, and he plays and we'll sing songs together. Dust in my dust in the wind always gets me when he picks that up and yeah. he plays it for me and we sing yeah. to it. So um wish you were here by Pink Floyd's probably like, you know. Yeah. Ooh, just, disintegration, the fascination street. You know what? I yeah. never realized how good plain song was too. I like that. Oh yeah. And Moira, Depeche Mode, you got a girl. Um, we need a music night. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's a whole nother topic. 
And um, there was just something I wanted to address it really quick. So Fiona, prompts are just like words or suggestion. Like um, if you were like sitting there and one of us asked, well, we need a prompt. Like let's say the first word that jumped to your mind was um, tomato. Type in tomato and then we would write maybe a poem that, you know, about a tomato or might have had, we used the word like, it didn't have to be necessarily an actual tomato. For me, I could think of writing, you know, she had a dress that was tomato red or she blushed, you know, like a tomato, you know what I mean? Yeah. Different ways of playing around with words and ideas or, or little phrases. So those are what prompts are. Um, tarot karaoke night. <laughs> you gotta be careful with, you know, YouTube, but yeah. Copyright, um, you know. But yeah. if it's just a couple of bars and it's not the actual song, you know. Um, but yeah, a lot of great music from, and we were just watching a really good interview um, I can't remember his name. I think his first name is Rick, but he, he has a channel on YouTube. His last name is Beato and used to be a, a producer and he does these interviews. Like we just watched one with Nuno Bencourt from Extreme. They have a new album out. Um, Nuno's an amazing guitar player. We watched the, uh, an interview with Kirk Hammett and he had Stain on recently and just talking about Stain and how he crafted his music and his lyrics and his songs. So Oh my God, yes, going down memory lane and all this stuff with music. Like the stuff nowadays, it's just most of it's crap. It's just like three chords and just some, you know, drum beats or whatever and some nasty rapping on them. And there's like really nothing there. Um, but uh, more of like yeah. the underbelly that you really have to get the good stuff from. Um, mm -hmm. I'm wearing, if y'all haven't seen it, like, sorry, shaky. I can't even see. <laughs> see the whole thing shaky graves <laughs> just google him he he's amazing shaky okay shaky shaky graves i'm like where where's the shaky part of my shirt oh <laughs> it was like down here <laughs> sorry i can't yeah there it is <laughs> shaky graves i have to yeah let me write that down um yeah we're always looking for the, oh, and another um it's like the song's got like the ghost or something like the ghost was me i don't know it, it's it's an amazing song like i can't remember the words right now but um i saw him live he's amazing that is awesome i haven't seen a concert in so long oh my god for me a lot of times lately it's songs not necessarily i'll follow bands but you know there will be songs here and there um, like there's a, a band called In the Valley and they did a song called Hymnal, just absolutely beautiful. Um, Sev Deliza, she's Iranian. She's got an incredible voice and some very yeah. interesting music. Again, Avi Kaplan, all these little different people that you come across, you know. Um, I don't do Spotify because it's so screwy how unless you pay for it, they they mess up my, you know. I, I got iTunes. So whenever we hear Me too. or whatever, I look up iTunes. So Me too. Um, yeah, and a lot of it, yes, is AI music now. We'll have to link on iTunes because we can share like our um music or whatever, like if we're both doing it. So, anyway, oh. okay, that's <laughs> cool. Yeah, um, it's cut and paste music. Yes, it is. Um, so Rick was going over like he did this like a couple days ago. The top um ten songs right now um on the Billboard, and a lot of them were just the same beats with the same rhythm there was no like real songwriting or lyrics but the number one song when he looked at it was flowers by miley cyrus and that's an incredible song she does have an amazing voice um music her craft i mean no matter how she might have been in the past but really miley is an amazing singer and songwriter i'm just i just like now that she's starting to kind of grow out we all of have our moments you know it's like yes we all have our moments and but, i mean when you're in the spotlight like that i mean everybody sees you know your moments i mean she grew up i mean that song flowers yeah. is such a beautiful it's such a painful song but it's also a beautiful song for women you it's know like i can hold my own hand i can listen to myself i can love me better than you can i mean it's just Kind of like empowering me and i was like yeah yes <laughs> and yeah. Jeff's like oh whatever no. he's like no it's a good song it's an, yeah. got an ear hook to it but it's it's cookie it's cutter well after i will survive by gloria Gaynor. Oh my i think God. it's patterned very much after that song no, I... hmm. now that you but say it's that good. Like... it's good and it's it's uh 
I wouldn't even say it's a guilty pleasure. It's just very good. It is a good yeah. song. Yeah. And it deserved that Grammy that it won. The oh, it did it? That's yeah. good. Yay. Good. Um, and yeah. speaking of garbage, Jay, I love early garbage. You know, she, um, man, I can I know I can't think of her first name, but Mansfield. I mean Shirley, very, Shirley Mans. Shirley, yes, thank you. Yes. Um, they had a great song. <laughs> I just laugh at you like thank you, garbage. <laughs> Romeo and Juliet when they came out with Caprio and Claire Danes back in the day. Garbage to the song on there called Number One Crush, and that's a badass song. I love that song. But they did a lot of, you know, cool music, too, in the early days. Um, some of these bands from our 80s and 90s, when they try to do new stuff nowadays, it just doesn't really fit for me. So I kind of stick to the classics. But, um, yeah, a, a classic will always be a true classic. Um, I like when I and Moira said, Tiger Lily. <laughs> Natalie Merchant, <gasps> Tiger Lily. Yes. Oh, my God. <laughs> like, feeling that all of a sudden now, yeah. And I cried when I heard the song about River Phoenix. That was so sad because such an know, amazing he hadn't passed. You know, she wrote that after his passing. But yeah, and I got to see her and, and actually Natalie Merchants from Dunkirk, which is only about an hour and a half from me. She's a Western New Yorker. That's so, yeah. And that's you know, cool. Like her mom, I told you she lived down here for a while and had like a little yeah. vintage shop um near the downtown area. And they nice. did a and the 10,000 Maniacs did a beautiful remake of um, Patti Smith's um, Because the Night. I like both of them, because but I really the like night night was me. Oh, yeah. Because <laughs> the night belongs Yes, to we need a music us. night. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All righty. <laughs> we got to let Karen go and be mommy. Um, it's 934. Jeff, did you want to do any more poetry or are you good for the night? I can do another one. I think... Um... Thread was um, the latest prompt. As in oh, Thread. Red? Okay. It was from. Well, I'm going to sign off. Okay. Yeah, but put, put it, if you write something, though, put it in the chat and we'll, oh, we'll okay. share it. <laughs> okay. okay. Well, Karen. yes, I'm going to sign off. Mwah. Love you yeah. all. Thank Bye, you so much. Thank you again, sweetheart. Thank you, Thank you so Last much. Time. I had a blast. Night. 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 Okay, so someone put the color red in. Okay. No, the word thread is in like the oh, thread of needle. Oh, thread. Oh, I like it. Was, it was it uh, was Kaylee, I think, that did it. Kaylee. Th oh, I know why she was doing that. She was, um, I think, trying to explain to help Fiona understand the threading of like a prompt and how. Oh, okay. So it wasn't but really. But I love thread. Let's do thread. Okay. All righty, I'm down for it. Let's see, I'm going to pull a card. Do I want to pull a card? Sure, Heather, pull a card. Let's pull a Lenormand. I call them Lenny's. Ooh, oh, isn't that perfect? Tomorrow's the full moon and I got the moon card just blew out. <laughs> Can't get away from the moon. And I saw someone mention Starlight earlier. I think that was Fiona. So I'm going to add Starlight into mine too, Fiona. Oh, I love that dolphin. Kaylee, what did you have written in parentheses with the the prompt? Do you remember? I mean, it's not a big deal. I can go on just thread, but Let's see, here we go. She said thread, thought, fabric, and connection. Okay.
So I'm going to go ahead. I know I'm going to do more of this later. I love this Kaylee. And I also love the Starlight earlier from, um, was it Harley from Harley or Fiona? Um, and the Holy Clips too. These were some great prompts tonight. Um, so I'm just going to read what I have here. Um, I weave the thread of the moon's light, straining the starlight in a mosaic web, a shimmering cloak of patterned fabric, the Milky Way, my guide. I feel a deep connection to our ancestors and their ancient sky. I love that. I play with some more of that later. Good night, Fatima. Thank you for for joining us. Blessings to you and Odelia. And I did notice the conversation going earlier with my my Mary statue. Yes, she watches over us, but I also have my dragon. I got dragon over here. I have green Tara. I have my bost. I have my my turtle, my Hermes, my turtle skull over here too. So um, lots of protection. And also my great grandma. Talk about ancestors. My great grandma. Not my great grandma. That was my grandma. Great grandma. Oh my goodness. Well, maybe she's here too. <laughs> I'm all set. Do you want to be kept on that screen or you want the big one? Uh, the big one. All righty. He wants the big one. Okay. In the wires that were crossed. Oh, wait a minute. Mm. In the wires that are crossed, time eludes us when we can't connect our thoughts. Fragmented reality, yet repetitive by design. Talk about a patchwork. Stick in a needle. You'll be fine. Just don't stick it in your eye. Sleepless nights wondering if lying in a bed buried under the covers will let me see the day any other way. A flower will wilt. Thread this needle in time. Don't give up. Leave them behind. And from that fabric that binds is a stitch in time. From that a quilt built for you and I. Very nice. I like that crossing wire stitch. When we said stick in the eye, I was thinking of... Boy, you can tell how morbid Heather was. She was like, you know, in it's your arm. time, and I'm trying to like, yeah, you know, gotcha. yeah. <laughs> Very nice. Jeff says beautiful. I mean, Jeff. Ah, Ramon <laughs> says beautiful. I know grammatically it should have been for you and me, but that wouldn't have rhymed. So I went with for yeah. you and I. And yeah. <laughs> Moira said, nice. Don't stick it in your eye. <laughs> <laughs> And um, who made the comment to, I didn't get a chance to respond. Somebody said, so Harley, actually interesting thing is that um, there's quite a history with my, my grandmother, but um, at one point she had been kidnapped by family members. This is going back turn of century when, you know, Catholics really didn't, weren't supposed to marry Jewish people and, you know, marriages kind of things and stuff like that. And so my grandmother had to disappear for a while and she was, you know, hidden away and her, on her mom's side, her relatives were in vaudeville. And I guess I had a great aunt that used to dance at one of Capone's clubs and stuff and whatnot, but I had vaudeville performing um, ancestors 
and they raced her for a while on the road. So when you said she looked like a star from classic films, she did come from a family that were performers and dancers and stuff. So just thought I would share that. But yeah, my grandma. Um, and Kaylee said, ooh, a Lenormand one would be interesting. Pull four or five words and have to make a poem from them. Yeah. yeah. That's, I, I, I'm just getting a mind right now. <laughs> Or a poem built on a reading of them, like lay nine of them out, and then <laughs> that would be yeah. That's what I would do. Nice, Jeff. I think it's very cool that you guys can do this very quickly. Oh, oh I wish you, I could Fiona. be a little faster, but yeah, thank you, Fiona. Um, and Harley said, "Oh wow, that was all beautiful, but you had me with the ending. What was the ending again, Jeff?" Uh, uh, a a what was the ending? Um, and from the fabric that binds is the stitch in time. From that, a quilt built for you and I. A quilt built for you and I. I love that. Yeah. Very nice. So we are at 947. Did you want to do one more and finish up at 10? Yeah. Why don't we make it an even 10? Yeah. yeah. Let's make it an even 10. So, um, hmm, I think I'll pull another Lynn Norman. I'll see if anybody puts a, a prompt in there. I have genes of a performer. Well, Harley, that's what I wanted to do when I was younger. But I was told I didn't have the voice for it. But I did enjoy the musicals I was in high school. I didn't have any lead singing roles because they said I couldn't sing, but I got to have fun doing the chorus and the dancing and all that good stuff. So it was Anchor is the prompt. Oh, the Anchor's character. Oh, okay. Yep. That oh, was Anchor. Was... Oh, not Anchor. Anchor. Okay. Anchor. Okay, so I'm going to mute because my cat was misbehaving. I didn't know if you heard Shan yelling at the cat earlier. So I'm going to mute in case she gets to be a bad girl again.
Oh, how beautiful, Kaylee. Kaylee wrote, tethered to the depths below, shall I stay or shall I go? Wicked waves to threaten, tossed, surrender to the flow or to all be lost. Wow. Very nice. And there's the word tethered. And then, of course, I saw, shall I stay or shall I go now? Do, do. Should I stay or should I go now? I'm trying to remember who did that song. I always the forget. Clash. The Clash. That's right. Yeah. If I stay, it will be trouble. If I leave, I'm sure it'd be dope. Something would be. Okay. Yes, Heather's got to stop doing the music karaoke. So for me, it's a great um, prompt. Um, it's interesting, Ramon. I wonder if you pulled that from your Lenormand deck because I pulled the That's stork awesome. card from my Lenormand deck and beautiful full moon again, too, on this one. Um, <clears throat> so I wrote, build me a nest of twigs, leaves, and mud, and I will anchor myself within the folds, dreaming of winged beings, warming my bones, helping my body feel my soul. And that's where it stopped for now. And my last line actually came from a song. It's a song lyric um, from the very first Crow movie. Um, I can't think of the actual name of the song off the soundtrack, um, but it said, um, you got to help my body feel my soul. And I always thought that was so beautiful. And that seemed to fit right into that spot. And I'll probably expand on that for a later poem. So... Thank so you. the card, the card I drew, unfortunately, oh, is gone. um, and I've been having bit a vision or a couple times of something happening to the Eiffel Tower in meditation, and there was a, an event a few weeks ago where they had to close it down because the people oh. that work there were on strike. But um, oh. this, um comes from that vision so um you're feeling you're feeling for the wall looking for your center but you don't want to be weighed down and told no simply because it's time to move on and find someone by whom you'll be anchored to be betrothed to some antiquated idea you're cynical from years of scorn in the mind's eye, you see a gun. In the crosshairs of the city, in the crosshairs is the city of lights. I should be able to find my center where I was born. The stars should align, is what I was told. Yet in the morning meditation, the Eiffel Tower was destroyed. Not in my finest hour, but is there anything greater than the glory of the morning? M-O-U-R-N-I-N-G. Hmm. Play of words. I like that. Mm -hmm. Morning glories, with, you know, the yeah. flowers, but morning glory. Yeah. Wow. Very nice. Okay. Just looking. Moon, I literally just thought of that evolution. Oh, Moira had given us a, a prompt. You did? Um, okay. Do you want to do one more? We got yep. still got a few minutes. So Moira, yep. we are going to, and you have a question from Fiona. Jeff, do you journal often? Yes, I do. But I use my phone to do it. I, I, and I actually regret that I got into the habit of doing it by phone because it was so much better when I was writing it because mm -hmm. oftentimes they were more dis descriptive and they would actually be more helpful because the journal would be right next to my bed. So I have them from about 25 years ago that I kept, but they've all, all the ideas in them have been used pretty much. And um, Ramon said that was very deep, Jeff. Oh, thank you. 
And I was I was writing down a few a few lines that I heard him say. I was just like, ooh, but like this is why I loved about our poetry class is that we were to keep a journal or like a little book, and I always kept it on me. And um, our our teacher would say, if you heard someone say, like two words, like like tethered a line, ooh, that caught my ear. Write that in the little book, whether we did something or not. As long as we had our po poem written for class he wanted us to see regularly and see what we were putting in our journals and we would show you know these are the words or if we heard a certain lyric line we would put that in there if we had a feeling even just single words whatever it is like you said to build up your vocabulary or to build up like a a, a word a word codex would that be the right right word but um but yeah and just let things you know, simmer and, you know, and every now and then if you write, you'll be like, wait a minute, let me look at that book. And sometimes, you know, right away, I'll be like, oh, there's that word outfit, that'll fit. So it's a great way of just kind of, you know, relaxing, de-stressing and being able to hear, you know, your guides, your higher self talking to you as well. Um, Sunday is the new Friday. <laughs> <laughs> I wish. Uh, thank you, <laughs> but we had a great Friday night, though. We had Peter and Carolyn Booker, and they were sharing their paranormal stories, and so was Chad. So, um, Heather Stone Temple Pilots, Big Empty, is that the song? I don't think it was. No, it wasn't. It was a little bit later on the sound. Right now, the soundtrack's down in my car. But um, it's 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 a beautiful song. It's it's sad, but I mean, it was a violent movie. But alrighty, what was the word evolution? And it's so weird that I you said evolution um, that um, I went and I pulled a card, kind of opened up, you know, my deck, and talk about evolution. I got Sisters of the Seasons, which is cycles of growth, natural law divine order but that doesn't sound like evolution <laughs> but now with the with the word evolution i'm thinking of the movie with david Duchovny and and uh and more um with the and the guy from the the seven up commercials that was a funny movie okay but i digress uh dan Aykroyd was in it. oh and people by the way coming in late if you love you know the original ghostbusters um, I saw the movie today, and even though Sigourney Weaver and um, Rick Moranis wasn't in it, Annie Potts was there, Bill Murray was in it, so was um, Dan Aykroyd. All, all those main guys came back. It was great. And Slimer. Slimer's back. Can't have Ghostbusters movie without Slimer.
Whew, it's taking me a little while longer tonight. Um, sorry, guys, for the time <laughs> we're taking. These are really like good prompts, and you're really um, making, you know, Jeff yeah. and I really work for it. Yeah. Um, archive. Ooh, there's another word archive. Yes. I'm ready. Oh. Okay, I was gonna. Yeah, you can go ahead. I'll okay. still look at mine. Mine's weird. Okay, the card I got from the deck of character was tears. Mm. Primitive abilities speak to the hands on approach, judged by what you can build from the ground up. Something inside you every day comes out primal and bare, yet you lack the ability to wipe the tears. When it's on your space, they encroach. In modern life, the sum of what you do is what you're worth. Trying to survive nowadays seems more in vain. Yet with evolution, things were supposed to get better, not worse. That's it. <laughs> well, sometimes it's got to get worse before it can get better, right? I got to hit rock bottom. Yeah. Yeah, they're saying like right now, this time with the way planets and places are in aligned, um, it was during the revolution for it the was. States and then the French Revolution, your home, your birthplace. So um, that's very interesting. I'm just wondering, that just popped in my mind, actually. I'm wondering if you are connecting to the energetic, um, the residual energy or tapping into that of the French Revolution, because you're getting feelings about the Eiffel Tower. I know the Eiffel Tower wasn't built then, but still it was part of a connection to where, you know, you were born. There's like that blueprint. That seems to be coming up a lot. I'm wanting to come up in my poetry tonight. It's about these blueprints um, and that kind of like blueprints, like in the building, but just kind of like, I don't know what else to call them. I'm still looking for the right word. Um, check out the astrology of 2020. Yeah. Um, and really quick before I go, Kaylee did a poem. To grow, does one evolve out or up or sideways or cross or through or out in all directions like the expansive universe? Or does one evolve in towards the depths of our infinite souls? Wow. I love that. That's so good. That's some food yeah. for thought right there. Very interesting. And another connection to Jeff that I, I just put my uh, grandma that I showed her uh, parents and great grandparents came from um, France. Came really? from that, okay. that country also. They were the Dupuis. So my great grandmother, Anna Brown, her, her, it's it's kind of crazy with the but Montreal Quebec but he came from uh, from France he's a Dupuis so there's another interesting connection that Jeff and I have very cool very cool all right so to end off and yes Harley the Cure Burn is an awesome song it's a rock I mean they did an incredible job on on that song and you also mentioned um. The Jane Seabury song, um, it, it Can't Rain All the Time. That was a beautiful song, too, from that soundtrack. But yes, Jane Seabury, she's, she, I have her first CD that she released. Um, some got some great tunes from the 90s. So, all righty. Evolution, boy, yeah, this really went to some interesting places. Um, evolution, sensing my spirit moving through interdimensional blueprints, DNA of Gaia's core. I feel her pull my soul downward, caverns of mercury, scrying pools for Aztec gods, bones laid bare. The jaguar growls. I'm in her stare. This is Maya. Her veil is torn. I close my eyes. I hear the stones. And that's as far as I got so wow well that's more of that's going to come to play 
at some point. So no painting on the background tonight. No, I I I uh, went ahead and and packed those away, Ramon. Um, a lot of times too, with me sitting here, you can't see them because of the way my camera is and um, the little hole that I have there to hang something. It, it's it's like a concrete. It's loose, so I can't really paint anything big for people to see. But uh, I might have something there for tomorrow. Um, Finish that, Ed Heather. That's really wonderful. Thank you. Moon Square, beautiful. Thank you. And Harley says, I'm always mixing up lyrics and band names. <laughs> Sometimes it's, it's easy to um, for that to happen. So, all righty, we are at 10 11. Jeff, what you got coming up this week? Um, uh, three to five political videos being uploaded middle of the week and a possible collaboration either Thursday or Friday and stay tuned um, for more psychoterapathy readings. Can you explain I that have... again to people that are new? In yeah. Oh yeah. So basically the idea is I hold up a card. It's a take on the Rorschach test or the inkblot test where you were basically what you see in the card can be literal or it can be fig figurative or whatever you want. And then from that, um, I'll either write you a prescription by poem for entertainment purposes only, or I will do it um, based on a reading. Um, and then what happens is um, I get from the cards the information that you give me as to what you think the cards mean. In other words, um, somebody, saw the seven of swords reversed in the garbage pill kid deck that i readily use and thought it looked like santa um promising something uh but not delivering and so that mysticism of what you believe in santa as a child that every wish can be fulfilled da 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 da, da turned into something about um <laughs> yeah well was that you or was that someone else i don't I'm, i th yeah yeah, so that's that's to what she's alluding, I think. But I don't want to give it all away, so go watch it and see if it was hers. But I know I did two on the last live I did. For me. I don't remember whose that was, though. That's the weird thing about readings. I do not remember whose it was. It thinks it was for her that you did it for. Okay, her. that's what I think, too, but... It's hard to remember when we're tapping like, in I don't energies remember. and then moving from one to the other. It It can be very... Yeah, it's like you get it and then it releases and then, okay, you're not really sometimes not supposed to have memory of it. So it was just for yeah, that okay. moment. So she yeah. says yes. And so based on that, it was like Santa was inverted. Like in other words, the promises <laughs> couldn't be fulfilled. But it was like someone was telling her as a child when she had all these visions or things that she wanted to do that she couldn't do them. So mm -hmm. like she became very versatile and I just kept spewing things that I got like she did a lot of different jobs. And like, there are two or three things at which she's really good. She needs to hone in on, but I mean, go and take a look at it. It was, it was insane. And I don't know if, yeah, Harley was Santa disguised in there or is Santa really in there? Because I couldn't tell. I'd have to dig out the deck to find it, but. Hello, I'm still here. Obviously he wanted to make another appearance and don't, show that <laughs> that ring was like a recorder recorder huh i don't know what that um, means that's interesting i don't know what that means either come on be good boy lay down so um jeff it was santa he had a santa suit oh he did okay okay oh it was yeah that's right in the card now that i think about it, it was santa but was the reading even close I mean, oh god Dean, I can't. <laughs> he just sat on all my Lenormans. On my, on my Lenormand deck. Would you? Okay, come on. Move it. Okay. So, oh. <laughs> he doesn't have any balls left, but, you know, still have some, you know, monic was, was that moniker? Monicum. Monicum or whatever you call it. Come on, get that down. All righty, gorgeous cat. Yeah. 
<laughs> they would rather see your face than your butthole. <laughs> so sometimes this becomes not only the Jeff and Heather show, but the, the you know, whoever in Mozzie show. So um, everybody, thank you so much. I have my, um, my Divine Feminine with Nancy tomorrow um, at five o'clock. Oh my God. Um, then I have uh, Rain and um, Jackie's Crystal Moon on Tuesday um, for our Tarot Tuesday talks. And we'll be discussing um, tarot spreads. That was inspired by um, a Friday show that Alice and I did a couple of weeks ago. Um, where we decided just to discuss, you know, spreads and how spreads help, um, you know, readings. And for me, sometimes it hinders. Um, and so just having a really cool conversation about spreads. So we're going to kind of carry that forward into um, Tarot Tuesday Talks with uh, Rain, Jackie's Crystal Moon and I. And there's two Jackie. So this is Jackie's Crystal Moon. And uh, she's in Ireland. So that's that's our Aroi Lassie over there in Ireland. And um, Wednesday, no, and then Tuesday night, Avana Intuitive and I are back. Um, we've taken a break. She's been doing studies and other things. Avana and I used to do every full moon readings together. Um, we took a break from that. Avana's been studying and doing her, she does Akashic readings and tarot. So she's going to be joining me on um, Tuesday evening for some springtime spiritual messages from our guides. Then Wednesday, um, investigative tarot with Jackie. And we'll be reading on a uh, French woman who actually will be reading on a French woman who was murdered outside of her Ireland home um, back in 96, 97. And that's got a lot of, that's an interesting case. So we're going to be looking at that. That was something Jackie wanted to look at. And I believe nothing until then, again, until Friday with Allison and I. So, um, yeah. And then hopefully we'll know by this coming week whether or not we're moving and I'll be able to move forward and schedule more programs. And I don't see why there wouldn't be another Sunday tarot because it'll be at night. So no matter where I'm at, you know, whether... You know, I'll take a break from packing if I have to or if we're in the process or whatever. We'll be here. I don't like missing on my my Friday nights or my Sunday nights or my Mondays with Nancy. So, um, all righty. Jeff, I went back and saw the star. I zoomed on it. I definitely needed my glasses. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the cat is protesting. There's a dog card in Lenormand, but not a cat card. This is true. That's blasphemous, isn't it, Mozzie? Yes, it is. So, um, although there are some Lenormand decks I have seen on Etsy that are indie decks um, that has witchies and she's got the black kitties on it. So those were the ones that I want to get at some point. So, oh my goodness, everybody, thank you. Um, I love her. Yes, it is my Mary statue. She's been outside and she's a little worn for wear, but She's inside for now. So, um, and yes, um, have a good night. Thank you, all your, thank you, Ramon. Thank you, everybody, for being here. Um, Jeff and I appreciate your support. So does Karen. And uh, keep an eye out for Jeff's videos and his announcement for a possible upcoming live this week. And um, you will see you in one of my chats. And everyone, have a good start to your week. And we'll see you next time. Bye.